Hi, I'm Charlie Tracy at the Lake County Examiner. It's Friday, August 24, 2018. Here's your two-minute video news source for everything Oregon Outback. It's The Flash. Lake County School District board, number 7 board members received their final assessments from the building inspections done in April by Cooperative Strategies. Partner Scott Newell provided the board with an overview of each of the five schools in the district. All of the school buildings are old and Newell recommended replacing the roof at A.D. Hay, Fremont and Lakeview High Schools as soon as possible to prevent further damage to the exterior and interior structure. The buildings were inspected in accordance with OAR 851-027-0335 following Oregon Department of Education guidelines. Lake County's Western Heritage Subcommittee's first official project is in the books. The committee, along with the help of several entities including Travel Oregon, Travel Southern Oregon, Ace Hardware, the Lake County Commissioners, and the Town of Lakeview, have placed approximately 40 flags hanging around downtown Lakeview with one side recognizing the Lake County Fair and Roundup and the other side kick your boots off and stay a while. This project is one of many that the Western Heritage Committee is working on as the Centennial Roundup is a year away. On Wednesday, August 22nd, Lakeview Swim Team hosted their annual swim banquet at the Kitty Pool on South F Street. The evening brought dozens of parents and kids to celebrate their season with delicious food and a recap of the memories made during the season. Coaches Kristen Hill, Nicole Mueller, and Alex Conley honored the swimmers with inside jokes and prideful awards created by the coaches themselves. Cascade East District's High Point Girl and Boy recipients were also announced naming Alex Conley and Max Gallagher as the leaders. On Wednesday, August 29th, the fall session of Gentle Yoga Back to Health classes will begin. Led by Francine and Jason Winters, both certified yoga teachers, the class will continue for 12 weeks through November 14th, located upstairs at the Presbyterian Church. The classes are intended to walk participants week by week through techniques, breathing patterns, and poses in class and also at home. Props and chairs are used to help everyone participate in the classes. For more information, contact Winters at 541-947-2114 extension 441. Well, there's the buzzer, so that does it for us this week. Be sure and check out our online calendar to keep up with everything happening around Lake County. Follow us across the social media sites, catch a new Lake County Flash every Friday, a hot spot every Tuesday, and for these stories and so much more, pick up the next Lake County Examiner. Come check out our Western Wear. We have great prices for you just in time for the fair. At the 39er, we offer regular jeans ranging in waist size 30 to 44, all for just $25.99. We have a wide variety of Wrangler Western shirts for men, youth clothing including Wrangler jeans ranging from 1T to 16, and Wrangler shirts for boys and girls and Western belts. Over at Tall Town Clothing, grays of LA women's jeans are in stock starting at 25 by 34 and up for just $65.99. Women's Western and Wrangler tanks starting at $25.99 and straw cowboy hats for $25.99. There is a huge variety of sizes and colors of George Strait Wrangler shirts ready for you to wear to the fair. Stop in and shop today.